<sighs> oh my goodness. I am having such a morning. <laughs> so I woke up and threw up probably six times. Just pregnancy nausea. It still happens sometimes, but I'd had a good few days, kind of like almost weeks of not throwing up as much. Today did not go well. Still feel pretty crummy. Reese has a lot of energy, which, you know, she is a two-year-old, so that's normal. The only thing I could get her to eat for breakfast was fruit snacks. So I feel mom guilt about that, but I'm glad she ate something because I want to take her to a play group with parents as teachers. Um, that's the like educational program that we're involved in at 9.30, which is in like 30 minutes. So she had to eat something. And I'm still going to the play group even though I feel super crummy because um, Reese needs to like get out and do something every day. You know, I feel like you toddler moms can agree. And oh my goodness, I'm looking at my house behind me. My house is a wreck. I have no energy to clean it. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully things will turn around. And I just looked at myself in the mirror and I literally look like a pregnant toad. Um, I, my belly has gotten so big over the past like week. I think the baby like definitely had like some sort of major growth spurt, like no lie, like stretch marks popped out on my hips. That's where I get stretch marks. Um, just like overnight, like my belly got huge overnight. Like this is what I looked like full term with Reese and I am 31 weeks. Let me go show you in the bathroom mirror. So this is why I'm saying I look like a pregnant toad, just the green. I don't know, it's not really working, but I'm not changing. Because changing your clothes when you're this pregnant is not that fun, and who cares? But, okay, I feel like this isn't doing it justice. But this is literally what I looked like full term with Reese, and this is 31 weeks right now. So crazy, I had a doctor's appointment Tuesday and everything was normal, you know. This baby is measuring like bigger um, than Reese did, so that could be part of it. Definitely a bigger baby. Probably more exhaustion and chasing a two-year-old, more exhaustion, but guys, I am not thriving this morning. Book? Book? Want me to read you that? Hey, okay, we need to change your clothes. Oh, I need to change your diaper? Okay. All right, got Reese changed, and I have 10 minutes before we need to leave, and I think I'm gonna do like just like a quick clean, see what I can get done in 10 minutes, and then I'll feel a little better about the house. Sometimes when you like are on a time crunch, you just accomplish so much more. Does anyone else feel like that? Time to go and my kitchen feels a lot less gross and in better shape. Okay, Reese, we're gonna go to a play group and there's gonna be a lot of friends there. So we're gonna share and be kind and we're gonna listen to the grown-ups, okay? Okay? Are you excited? Okay, let's go. Reese did so great at play group. I am so proud of her. She played nice, she shared. She was happy, baby, the whole time. And she was not one of the kids that had a giant meltdown when playtime was over. 
which was like half of them, which was honestly a little funny. But Reese was fine, so that was sweet. And now we're doing one of her favorite activities, which this is kind of funny, but she loves to like just sit in the car with the window down or just, you know, in the garage and like climb all over the car and like pretend to drive and stuff. Which for me, this is not a bad activity because I get to sit down. So we'll just, you know, do this till it gets boring. Me and Reese just had a little lunch and now I'm going to do some vacuuming. <sighs> I'm tired, but needs to get done. Needs to get done. I'm the kitty. Reese and I are just playing. We got up from our nap. And she took a long one today, so over two hours. So I'm feeling a little bit better because I got some rest, which is awesome. Because I don't always get to rest <laughs> or get a very long one. So um, we were just playing with these little, little books. They're so cute. Reese got this for her birthday. And she was just opening each one and reading it individually. And then now we're doing our magnet board. Here we go. Yeah, but I'd like to do a short yoga video in a minute, and we'll see how Reese likes that. Sometimes um, she'll like just tap on me the entire time. But with my mom the other day, she did yoga, like did a yoga video, so maybe she'll try to do it with me. It's prenatal yoga. Um, Sarah Beth Yoga is the channel that I like to find just short little prenatal yoga videos on. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I would say that that yoga had its ups and downs for being a 10 minute yoga with a toddler. Oh, it just got bubbles all over me. And you know how I cleaned? She just like dumped out all her toys and then was like insisting we go outside and do bubbles. So that's great. 
Kyle just got home and is playing with Reese and we have dinner going. We got some burgers going on our pan, broccoli in the microwave, and I made this big thing of mashed potatoes the other day. Mashed potatoes kind of take a while to make, but we love them, especially with like a bunch of sour cream and butter and just deliciousness. So I always make like a big batch so we can eat it throughout the week. <laughs> but that will be it for this vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like this video, leave a comment, be sure to follow me on social media, and I will see you in my next video.